What is going on guys? John here from John's Fishing Channel. Thanks for tuning in. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, favorite this video. Today we're going to be doing a little fly fishing. It's just me in the boat. Um, it's warm out, it's a little windy, but I'm going to try to catch some panfish and bass and a couple different things uh, using a fly and a fly rod. So this is the fly that I'll be using today. It's just a maroon and gold looking thing. Uh, go Raiders. <laughs> Anyways, uh, should be pretty fun. I'm gonna fire up the head cam and just start fishing the shoreline here And I expect to catch a lot of panfish, sunfish, uh, hopefully some crappies and some bass. I got an actually fairly large bass on here the other day So I'm, I'm looking forward to it All right, well first things first we gotta get a little line out there I don't know if I'm the best person to learn how to fly fish from. I've never actually successfully taught anybody or tried to teach anybody how to fly fish um, you know, but I'm okay at it. I'm not, not the greatest. I'm not the worst. I've been doing it for a long time. Uh, I believe I started fly fishing when I was about 10 or 12, so 28 now. You can do the math, but I had a fly rod on my hand or arm for a pretty long time. And it's a little different. You know, you cast, you strip in the line like this. Um, we're using a fly, not a lure. It's usually hand tied. The biggest thing about fly rod is, you know, you lift it up out of the water and you stop straight up and you let the line go back and it's like a one, two, one, two. And that's about the speed of uh, you want to bring it backwards. So it's a lot more effort than just regular spin fishing using a bait caster. It's really fun to land fish on fly rods. Um, you know, it's a tremendous fight, and I don't know. It's just a little bit more challenging and difficult to catch a fish. It seems like found a small school of small sunfish over there. Crappie being, you know, something I would really like to catch. That's my end goal today. Um, you know, there's a lot of different techniques to fly fishing, a lot of different ways to do it, a lot of different rods. Um, if this is something you guys really like, you know, maybe I'll do more of it. Um, and grew up fly fishing with my dad going out to Montana. I think the first time I ever went out there was when I was about 12. Um, on the Missouri River with a guide named Pete Cardinal, just a fantastic trout fishing guide. Um, but, you know, it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. I love fly fishing, um, you know, I usually reserve it for when I'm actually trying to go out and, you know, like, find a particular fish, like I like to muskie, fly fish for muskie, uh, large trout, large salmon, you know, anything you can actually go out and specifically target, you know, an individually large fish, uh, I really like to use fly rods, but as a whole I do a lot of spin fishing just to catch as many fish as I can. Um, you know, cover as most water as I can. I don't get a lot of opportunities to get up here and fish. So, you just don't see a lot of me fly fishing. But, I absolutely love to do it. So, thumbs up for fly fishing? Yeah! Alright, so I got my first fish. You don't really use a reel to reel the fish in in fly fishing. You strip the line in like this and you hold it with one finger. And then you strip it with the second finger. Um, but I got a nice little bass here. And you tend to get a way, way more of a fight out of using a fly rod because it, you know, it's a longer, more flexible rod. But that's not a bad fish to catch on a fly rod. Bam. Alright, one of the biggest challenges about fly fishing other than learning how to do it, is fishing in the wind because you have this cast, you mean this long line that you're bringing up over your head and man, let me tell you what, you're trying to throw it into the wind 30 feet upstream on like a trout stream in like a 10, 15 mile an hour wind, it's really, really hard to do. Um, but I've done it and that's the extent of fishing, you know, I mean, I've fished a lot of trout in and around Montana over, I don't know, 10 years of my life, 12 years of my life. I haven't been out there for a while be nice to go back. One of the coolest rivers that I ever fished was the Blackfoot. I think the West Fork of the, Fork of the Blackfoot River in western Montana is just a, like a something out of a movie. I mean it was so beautiful. It was this huge canyon gorge just in it like it would fill with water in the spring and then 
trickle down to a little stream. Well, a pretty, it was actually a considerably, you know, good sized river, but they had bull trout and rainbow trout in there that were like unbelievably big. You know, I was thinking about it too, the mosquitoes have been ridiculously bad the last few days, so I'm probably more likely to catch bass than I am of panfish uh, today, even though I'm seeing schools of panfish. But uh, like last night, the panfish were just feeding on mosquitoes all night long over the entire lake. I mean, out in the middle, everywhere around me, panfish were coming up and eating mosquitoes. And I thought that was pretty cool. I think I have a sunfish here though. Come on, sunfish. Oh, he got off. Ugh. That's what I get for not managing my line. Sometimes sunfish will bite onto the tail though and they won't let go. I've lifted them out of the water um, before they've let go of my lure and they weren't actually hooked. They were just holding on with their chompers. A lot of times when this has been getting fished, I fish here a lot every day. I've seen three or four other people out here fishing. Uh, fly fishing is a great way for you to catch more fish than the other guys because they don't see these flies a lot of the time. You know, It's not something they see regularly and they're almost always willing to bite them. Uh, if they see them and they're hungry. Whereas they might pass up a rubber worm or a rapala lure they've seen the last couple of days. Especially if you get a hook into them with one of them. All right, what do we have here? Bluegill. Pretty nice one. About five, six of those would make a fantastic dinner. But I know a little spot where I can catch a couple, so I'm gonna do that later. Alright, got another fish. Looks like a largemouth bass. Oh, he took that good. Oh, came right out, just like that. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Uh, missed a little sunfish. Also, the size of the fly will depend on how easy or hard it is for you to learn how. Uh, big saltwater flies, big musky flies are ridiculously hard to throw. Uh, they have heavy lines, the rods are really heavy, it's just a lot of work, so I recommend you start with something small. Uh, you know, four or five weight for trout or bass or something like that. You can get, uh, I think, a seven weight. For bass, but uh, geez, I'll tell you what, a seven weight is a lot of rod to handle. This is a, uh, I don't know, it should say somewhere on it, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, this is a, a nine foot rod, and it's a seven weight, and it's uh, kind of a lot to handle. Oh man, shipwreck ahead. Iceberg ho! Whew, crisis averted. Constantly reeling up line and pulling out line depending on how far uh, away from the boat I am. Alright, we got a stick fish. I think I'm gonna switch to a rubber worm now, but it's been grand. All right, so I just picked up a beauty. I'm actually gonna wait and see how much it weighs. Uh, that was about a three-pointer. <laughs> three-pointer. That fish weighed about three pounds. I got another nice bass. Not quite as big as the last one, but just a beautiful, beautiful fish. Let him go. Hopefully I can keep catching those. And there's a squirrel on the shore over there just making all sorts of kinds of noise. I know he must just be looking over, looking at me like, man, look at me, I'm a noisy squirrel, yeah? You know what I'm saying up here in the woods, yeah? That's what happens when I stay in the woods by myself for too long. Start making up stories about squirrels. But he really is there making a lot of noise. Well, I just switched to a spinner bait and caught a really nice bass. So I had a really nice bass, about three and a half pounds on. And I got him up to the boat and the line broke, so. That was pretty frustrating, but they're eating spinner baits tonight, so it should be a good time. Woo -woo -woo -woo. You can see him, he's right there. 
All right, guys. Well, I'm going to wrap up this episode of Fly Fishing with John. Didn't catch anything too awesome today, but it was really good to get out here and do some fly fishing. Got the loons right over there. I think they're probably ruining my spot. They're so mad at me around the entire lake. So uh, I'm going to wrap it up. I've been making so many fishing videos lately that I think I'm just going to take the night off, enjoy the water, do some fishing, um, and just kind of enjoy myself out here. But thanks for watching. I'm John from John's Fishing Channel. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, favorite this video. We'll see you next week.